Hello, welcome back to a new Dead Estate video. I'm Matt. We are going to be playing Jewels, an all curse run on Jewels because we unlocked the curses last time. So we come to Jewels here and we click on Curses. We'll be playing with Curse of the Blood Hungry, boost Jewels' fire rate, and her HP is 3. Increase Jewels' speed and grants her double jump, but all of her floors are larger, and changes her default weapon to the sawed off shotgun, but decreases the amount of pickups that Jewels find. Sounds kind of like a nightmare. But that's what we're going to be playing. However, however, before we play that, I do want to show off my game. If you didn't know and you're new here, I'm making a game called The Feathered Serpent. It is a 2D platformer, roguelite, very similar to Dead Estate, but just imagine it in 2D. Here is some new stuff that I was working on. It is a, uh, let me uh, get rid of competing sounds here. It is a like tutorial level. Um, it's a little rough around the edges still, but I was just I threw it together today actually. Um, and it's kind of to do some storytelling and to introduce you to the game. But there's these fun little like mini dinosaurs that you can kill. <laughs> they kind of hop around. But uh, yeah, my game it has like items that change how you attack. And the best ways that you can support me and this channel and my game is by following the Kickstarter uh, pre-launch page. Which let me go ahead here and there it is. So you can click the notify me on launch button and it'll let you know when the Kickstarter goes live and then you can get the game for cheaper than you would uh, at normal price when it goes out on Steam. And you'll also be able to uh, support me better there and, and potentially become a creator of the game. You can, depending on what tier you support, you could help me make enemies or items or bosses or really anything. You can also wishlist the game on Steam. And that lets Steam know that the game looks interesting and to send it out to other people and that's a huge support to me as well. With that out of the way, everyone, let us play. Uh, just normal jewels, I think, this time. Let's uh, go on Nightmare. Let's play. Yeah, we just need to do a, a normal ending here. And uh, let's see how... Okay. Shot off... Sawed off shotgun shoots out everywhere. It is hard to aim. Oh, my goodness. Seems like it's pretty good, though. Does do a lot of damage. Dang, it's... This is... I enjoy Dead Estate, by the way. This is a fun game. We got, a, I think, a normal shotgun or flaming shotgun. That's okay. Um, okay, we'll kill you. I don't know how I feel yet about this run. I feel like we do a lot of damage. We only have three health, which is concerning, to say the least. I did see the secret there. Um, Garlic necklace. That's a, great, that's a great item. We also have our nurse. We might be going there to get some health. It'd probably be probably be the best option. Blah 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 blah. Goodness, my mouth isn't warmed up for commentary. Okay, um, it'd probably be the best option here to complete a, an all curses run here. But honestly, it seems like this might be better than regular jewels. Just the amount of damage we're putting out with the sawed off. Like, sure, you have to get a little closer because it's not as accurate, but it seems pretty good. I also didn't really pay attention to the items that were there, but. I assume they're okay. It's very rare that... I mean, there are some items, but it's very rare that you don't want an item in Dead Estate, I feel like. Maybe it's not that rare, actually. I can probably think of, like, five that I just don't like. Trigger Finger, Grayscale, down to one HP, but it doubles your fire rate. Toilet Paper, eh, Toilet Paper's okay, I guess, because you can use it to buy other stuff. Um... Nightcore everything. That one's pretty pointless. Chance to lob a watermelon. All right, come on, chunks. All right. It is weird hearing the chunks theme sped up, not going to lie. We are just going to kite him in this room. It seems easy enough. Our agility still is low enough that it, it kiting chunks isn't the worst thing to do in the world. Like it's not the hardest thing. What I try and do is I always try and touch down on the bottom right and the bottom left here. Like As you can see, these two positions, I'll just... Kind of oscillate between them. And then, oh, sometimes you get a little off. That's okay. But I feel like it's the best way to kind of manipulate Chunks' AI here. To kind of get him to uh, to chill out. Although, sometimes that kind of crap happens. And he jumps for no reason. And then you just kind of have to move out of the way. But yeah, once you, honestly, once you do this enough times, you kind of just get comfortable with it. So, thank you for the Chunks medallion. Chunks has now disappeared permanently. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to like the music all sped up. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up the freaking Nightcore thing. Hmm. Oh, well. 465. Let's see what our shop has. And then if it has nothing, 
that we want, we'll go straight to the nurse. I don't super care about, well, I was going to say I don't super care about pots, but I guess I, I kind of care. Kind of? Yeah. Okay, we do have our angel right there, but I don't, I don't care. I, I don't want to do the run without our curses. I think they're fine. Gorier kills, stomping boots, glass eye. Shots hone in on enemies. Could be nice. I don't think I need glass eye, though. Like, in all honesty, I think the better option for me is to just go health. So I'm just going to go health. Although glass eye isn't a, a horrible option. I think it's okay. Especially because we have such a wide shot range. It would pull the shots back in towards enemies, but I've noticed that there's some finicky kind of jank that goes on with homing shots in Dead Estate, so I kind of tend to stay away from it. Okay, 651 is a nice chunk of change. Yeah, take me back. <clears throat> I hope you all are having a great day. I'm having a... Oh, no! Guys, I'm so sorry. The first six minutes are without volume. At least I caught it. I apologize. That kind of sucks. Um, not going to redo the video, though. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Okay, well, now you can hear with the freaking Nightcore music that I'm talking about. Um, dang. I'm sorry. That's probably... That's so annoying. That's so weird. It's just me silently breathing. <sighs> Why you guys freaking watch? I feel silly. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not perfect. These video the whole point of these videos is that they're not edited and they're not meant to be. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. I wonder I wonder if I got Thomas, because Thomas usually types like, oh, hey, this happened. And then he kind of regrets it because later on I address it. So let's see uh, if he fell for it. I'm gonna wait for the comment. He might delete the comment though, but I'll I'll screen cap and post it in the community tab if he does. He posts like, yeah, the music isn't working. And then later on, he's like, oh, he fixed it. <laughs> okay. Um, seems okay. I do like the, the health we got going on. I could go kill some pots in an attempt to fill up the HP, but I don't... Eh. Not that concerned about it. Okay. Just need to do a normal run here. Normal run. Do I usually do ne I think I usually do negative 40, not negative 45. On the OBS audio scale. Okay, let's try that. Um, how do I feel about this run? I feel pretty good. Honestly, I'm getting pretty comfortable with the game now. And now it'd just be a fantastic time for it to just kill me, right? But yeah, I think I'm 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 getting used to it. I will never play on um X must die mode for fun though because that mode is just it does things that just really piss me off like take away your map and immediately spawns chunks no matter what on the second floor okay I guess I deserve that um, things like that where I'm just like honestly it doesn't I, I don't know I'm just I'm not gonna do it there's like difficulty and then there's just like annoyingness I feel like. But I really like Nightmare Mode. Like, this mode that I'm on right now feels great. Feels super fun to play on. Feels like it's a challenge. Like, I'm not saying, oh, everyone's easy. I'm just saying, oh, I feel comfortable. Like, I feel like I could and probably should win most of my runs. That, although I haven't gone true ending in a while. So, maybe I just have forgotten how hard it is to go true or alt path whatever the true ending so that could also be a, a factor here that i'm not taking into account okay chunks has spawned we also are getting some large generation probably from the curse obviously that we have looks like chunks is gonna i think if we keep going into rooms chunks won't spawn okay we got rid of one of them that was like just a sniper shot right there Okay, Chunks is going to come in this room, but I don't want to fight him in this room, so go in this room. This is the Chunks theme, the sped up Chunks theme. Uh, now you can actually hear it. 
So we're doing a little bit more damage. We did buy some steroids. We did get roided out a little bit from the nurse. But, uh... I don't think it'll make that much of a difference. We do have the watermelon, which I used to love the watermelon, but... I don't know, I think it might have got nerfed. I think like the watermelon used to just shred some enemies. I think maybe it was because I had homing shots, and so the watermelon homing shots would would turn back in and just constantly hit the whatever I was attacking. I think that might have been it. Okay. Oh, a fun fact is I finally recorded a devlog um, for my game. It's, it had been like three weeks or something, and I just did it. I just Today, I really have like no time to do it. It was probably the worst day for me to do it, and I just did it. So... That's funny how my brain works like that. It's like, hey, now's probably the worst time you could do this. We have a lot to get done today. And I was like, I don't care. Same with this. I almost didn't do a dead estate run today. Which is why I'm like, I'm not going to redo this. Because, like, I was already on the fence about making a video for today. But I was like, dude, I got to have a video for today. I've been, I've been on the freaking... I've been doing good. Uploading every day. I've been on the grind. So, um, yeah. In, in comes dead estate here. But why am I so busy, you ask? Well... I have a real, like, contractual job I was hired for that I need to work a little bit on. It's creating an Etsy page. And, uh, it's not that hard. I, I'm i probably just going to spend, like, an hour on it today and then probably spend more time on it tomorrow. But the other thing is I have my first session of my D&D campaign that takes place in the Spelljammers campaign. Oh, thank you for the coins. Um, Spelljammers is, like... Honestly, Guardians of the Galaxy or Treasure Planet. It's just like these funny. It's like made in the 80s. It's a DD and d setting and I'm super looking forward to it. Come here, little golden wormy dealy. And uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but I have a lot to prepare and plan. Um, it's been so long since I have DM'd that like I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I also have to help my wife finish creating her wizard character. Um... Yeah, also, honestly, my wife's awesome. She was not even that big of a nerd until she married me. And then I, I honestly, it was a slow process. But I, I have, I've changed her for the better. It, uh, I remember starting out dating her. This is going to be a funny story. Okay, I got to maybe not tell stories. Sorry. I'm going to break some, some uh, pots so I tell the story. Because it's a fun story. You'll enjoy it. For those of you who are just here for Dead Estate, you know what? Go watch someone else, okay? You're here for me. You're here for the commentary I provide. Um, <laughs> so, uh, that's not true at all because my other videos <laughs> do not get any views. I know everyone here is here for Dead Estate. Um, what was that? Okay, yeah. So, when I was first dating her, um, uh, I was like, oh, do you have you ever played video games? Because I was like, I love video games. And then I started working on the Feathered Serpent like pretty soon after we started dating. And then she was like, yeah, I mean, I played Mario growing up. And so I was like, okay. And I knew then, I was like, I got to start off slow. I hate that room with the flying circle one. So I was like, okay, Mario. So I played like all of Mario with my uh, now wife. Um, and then uh, after we beat Mario, like that was super fun. I, you know, slowly moved on to like other games. Like, oh, maybe this other Mario, maybe 3D Mario, maybe Mario Kart, Mario Party. We play those. And then I started buying other platformers because that's what she's used to is Mario platformer. So like, okay, let's buy. Uh, I still remember. I think the turning point was this game called Infernax. It's like a Castlevania um, little indie platformer, and she just loved it. Like it was so much fun. We beat it together, and then ever since then, like I, I would also just show her games. And it didn't always work out. Because sometimes I'd show her a game and she's like, I don't like this. Or, like, it's not fun. And uh, I would always, like, have her come play for, like, I don't know. Maybe, like, that was dumb of me to jump there. But we were fine. I would show her, like, fun, like, other games every now and then. Eh, like, Spore. I think I showed her Spore one time. And she, like, played it for a little bit. And But then, like, I, at, Infernax was, like, the first game. She's like, I like this. And she played for hours. And then I got Cult of the Lamb. And she loved Cult of the Lamb. Start playing that a ton. And then, um, and by the way, I'm not just doing this to waste time. I actually do want to get a heart before I try and do new uh, areas. So we're breaking pots for that reason. Um, so then I went from like Cult to the Lamb and uh, I showed her games like Noida. Um, and then we started playing like games with Thomas on his stream a while ago. Like it was all these things coming together. And then finally, like 
now she's like super like she'll play, she'd honestly play any game I, I recommended her and sat her down to play and then um I mean obviously Hogwarts Legacy came out and she loved that because she's a huge Harry Potter fan so just like out of nowhere she just like slowly it's possible anyways the point of the story is it's possible and there's hope um you don't need to just go find some uh nerdy chick you go find the hot chick and then make her a nerd is what i'm trying to say um that's what i did so uh but yeah and then um same with like board games and stuff because she's into magic the gathering now which is like the nerdiest thing ever in D D, right and it all started out because i would play board games with her and we started out just playing simple board games and then kind of normie card games and then it moved into hey come check this game out and then she slowly learned I showed her Clank, Clank Legacy, and she really liked that game, and it's more on the nerdy side. And then just from there, yeah, like Betrayal of House on the Hill, and, you know, before you know it, she's playing Magic. Oh, I almost got hit there. And then from Magic, d and I mean, actually, I think it was D&D first and then Magic, but, I mean, yeah, and she loves Magic. She enjoys it, so it's just been awesome. It's been great. Just reminiscing. Okay, back to Dead Estate here. I'm scared because now we're doing rooms, and I have no heart. And I'm not super... And this gun, I have to be ooh, really up close and personal with people. I just appreciate a heart. And then I can play fast and loose. Thank you, game. You listened. The game listened. I also have quite a lot of... Buying three items gives me some money and ammo back. Okay. We still have the witch and a lot of money. So that's great. I honestly... Now now the run can actually continue forward. I need lots of stuff. Let's give me the vault. The elevator's awesome. It'll help me skip floors. Treasure rooms contain additional item chest and you know what? Beef ramen, sure. Go and give me ambrosia too, why not? I also get some money, some ammo, and health. Okay. Perfect. Love to see it. Alright, yeah, get me out of here. I can now finish this floor. I was not paying attention. Um, I'm curious though, if I go back to the item room, I don't think it I think I've tried that before. And it doesn't spawn an item. I definitely think I've tried that before. Because they spawn in. It's already pre-spawned. So, All right, let's just go freaking kill this boss here. And then get me out of here. Woo. Not a leviathan. Oh, no. Leviathan egg. Sorry. Not a leviathan is the giant shrimp. Please die. Oh no! Dang it. Well, that sucks. Really thought we could have killed the egg in time. Oh well. So maybe we aren't as overpowered as I thought because I guess we were two hits away. That's not bad. Alright, send me up. Send me up. Two more floors. Not even bad, everyone. These curses are not even bad. The long floors are a little annoying. And the reduced pickups, I definitely was feeling that once we did, like, 15 rooms without any health drops. But, uh, we're doing okay now. Thank you. Okay. I also don't like this enemy, but what you gonna do about it? Okay. Chunks, this is gonna spawn, I gotta remember. I gotta remind myself. Okay, super long floors again. Dodge that thing. It was out for blood. It was gonna hit me. Record groovy. Nah, I'm breaking it. Never use the items unless they're overpowered. What items are overpowered, you say? The sex gun? And that's probably it. <laughs> no, there's other ones too. But I don't know. I'd just rather have the money. I'd rather have the cheap money. Drinking some water still. Still caffeine free. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can talk about that. I'm still caffeine free, but today was very hard. Today, I mean, I have cold cokes in my fridge. I'm just like looking at them. I'm like, today has been hard. This whole week has been hard. Uh, unusually hard. Like more so than the past uh, weeks. So, but I'm still caffeine free. That's what is the important part. And uh, I'm happy about that. Okay. Oh, please. Please. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm taking the elevator out of here. Although I could, probably should go to the shop. As I actually am not in a, in a position to kill. Dang it. Okay, here comes Chunks. This is an annoying room. Yes. It's okay. I think I'm doing a oh okay job at dodging, but not anymore. Okay, just kill Chunks, please. I feel like Chunks' attack should be a little more intense. Like his arm like shoots out tendrils, and so it's a little further. Instead of him just like stopping and like punching, he doesn't even look like he his hitbox changes. He just like stops and does the punch animation. You know, it's almost like he punches himself in the gut. All right, thank you, Chunks. But maybe I shouldn't be advocating for a harder Chunks, because that would just not be good. Okay, wait, that, that one had a special outline. It had a special curtain. I got tricked. I got duped. Almost got hit there, but I did not. Okay. I'll take some hearts, please. Okay. I will not take any hearts. I am looking for a shop or an item room. I think it's important to... Because I honestly don't see myself beating uh, endgame chunks here. I do need a little bit more oomph. So. I mean, maybe I could, but I'd have to kind of ball out on dodging. Which I'm not trying, I'm not banking on. Knowing myself, I'm not banking on that. <laughs> That's why I always max out health. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I don't like that room. That was dumb. Okay, nice hits, I guess, but frick me. All right. No hearts, huh? Please, just can you not be such a big floor? I know that that's the curse and all, but I think it'd just be really cool if you just did it in the game. Can you imagine doing a, a true, an alt path ending with uh, these, this curse? That would suck. Okay, please die. Oh, you almost got me, dang. Okay. There we go, witch shop, let's go. So far, don't need to move faster, don't need to move faster. Th these are all so pointless. They're all so pointless. Okay, why, why, why? I don't know. I don't know. At least now maybe we get another permanent item and we still get money. So, uh, that's nice. I do like that upgrade. Because I'm just so prone to destroying my items that it's like, I might as well get that. Yeah, take me up. I'm out of here. <clears throat> I'm not going to pull anything out of the bank, but I don't think I'm going to put anything into the bank. If that makes sense. It's just uh, a skip the boss for me uh, section. <clears throat> Ba, 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 da, ba. Yeah, I really gotta work on that Etsy thing though. I just got a text on my phone that's like, uh, from the person who asked me to do it. It's like, have you worked on it yet? And I'm like, uh, I'm playing video games, hold on. I guess I can technically break this one. Okay, sure. Sure. Please. Please. Oh, there we go. That was like the sweet spot for a second. Wait, I wasn't moving. Please. It's so close. I can see it cracked. Oh man, what am I doing? What am I doing? Please. Okay. I had to take a deep breath and get new patience there. My brain was just like slowly fading out. Okay. How many, how destroyed do you have to look, Pot? 
goodness gracious. For 67? Not worth it. Never doing it again. Except that I probably am going to do it again. But right now, I feel like I would never do it again. Okay, next floor is the last floor. It should be the uh, laboratory. Laboratory? Laboratory. Okay, I'm um, not looking forward to clearing this. We definitely might lose the run here, so I actually have to be kind of careful. It's a hard floor, especially it's already long, even without a modifier, so it's just going to be brutal. I'm not going to lie, we're going to be on here probably 20 minutes easy. Okay, it's kind of a lie. I don't see 20. Oh my, get me out of here. Yeah, get me out of here. Get me out of here. There's no reason for me to do this floor. There's zero reason. It is not worth it. Oh, but the items, not worth it. Not worth it. It's not worth going through 50 freaking uh, uh, little squares, sections, levels to get to the one shop or the one item that could just suck. Not worth it. You know what's worth it? Getting free money and then going straight up to a shop and a free item and a free weapon. That's what's, that's what's worth it. Looks like we're going to beat the... I, I bet we can beat Chunks. Full health, looking great. Um, about to get an item. Let's do it. Let's freaking go. Hey, and then we're going to get the sea skin for Jules. That's going to be dope. And then after, we're doing Fuji. It was requested in the comments, so we'll be doing Fuji next. Um, a regular run first to get the curses, and then a run to... With the curses on, obviously. Fuji might be hard. Fuji might take more than one episode, though, because she's... Uh, proven to be a difficult character for me in the past okay the two items is cool boss spawn with lower health nice enemies have a tiny chance to drop weapons useless sick break it laser blade okay can't break it looking for anything in particular sure you can increase my move speed sure why not move speed just screw it and then this is just so pointless give me ambrosia so I get some stuff back which is actually pointless okay bye see ya cordelia i'm gonna go kill your family pet real quick we are so fast by the way holy crap i'm fast as boy all right all right all right all right oh right dang the bank elevators so nice for skipping floors although i'm not gonna lie it does take out some of the juice in the game it takes out some of the pizzazz but I think we can do this. It's all about the unlocks. Boom. Intruder detected. Lockdown initiated. Self-destruct sequence is beginning. Three, two, one. Honestly, I would consider this a scuffed episode. I don't think the gameplay was particularly good. We skipped two floors. I uh, did have audio for the first six minutes. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's just not a good run. There's three Ambrosias in there. Chunk should have lower health than usual. I do have a double jump, I just realized. I forgot we had that. This is the first time I'm utilizing it. And I utilized it to my peril. Okay. Alright, Chunks. Alright. She's gonna drop it, and then we're gonna shoot him. Heck yeah, look at that. GG everyone, game over. Oh, look, there's a heart in there we forgot. I didn't even see it, I don't even know why it spawned. Oh, I wonder if we could break the item that she dropped us, that would be funny. Okay, the bounty hunter, complete a run with every individual curse enabled as jewels. You unlocked jewels, C costume. Okay, heck yeah. Remember the good old days when this is what I thought the entire game was before I knew there was an alternate ending? And I still couldn't win? Wow, crazy days, honestly. How far we have come. Look at this. We used to take an hour to do it and we'd lose. Now, sub 30 minute run. Boom, baby. Okay. There it is. Saying hello. Um, Let's check out the sea skin. Boom, hey, look at that. That one actually looks pretty sick. She's got a do new hairstyle. Obviously, new outfit. Okay, that's sick. Wait, we have all three costumes. Boom. 
check that out. Okay, so that means that next up is, uh, oh, I also like how she looks in-game sprite as well. Okay, that's super cool. Um, yeah, next up, we're doing Fuji. But, uh, until then, I will, whoa, did you hear the music change? That was weird. It was, like, still Nightcore mode. Uh, but until then, thank you all for watching. Uh, just to remind you, you can wish us my game on Steam, and you can follow the Kickstarter pre-launch page, and that helps me out a ton. You don't even have to actually do anything. Like, it's just, it's like a pointless action almost. Anyways, it's not pointless. That's what I'm trying to get at. But for you, it could be pointless, and it could still greatly help me. Okay. Thank you, everyone. I will see you tomorrow for some more, maybe Dead Estate, probably Noita content. But uh, wish me luck on my D&D campaign. You'll hear about it all, all day tomorrow. So, see ya.